Feige, I am Menchu, and in this video we'll show you how to interface the Liquid Crystal Display, LCD, using Code Vision AVR software. First we will open the R Code Vision software then, after opening the software, click on the, the file at the left corner, here, we will choose New. In this project file after clicking on this, there displays two confirmation messages. Then, at the left side on the display, the last of fourth, alphanumeric LCD. Click on it enable the alphanumeric LCD support. Select your controller type and then, select the character, line, bit of the LCD. We can also change the port and, their position of microcontroller. Now select the connection as per your desire. In the given column, select the various port to the display along with their position. Finally, we will go to the taskbar and click on the program. Here, we generate, save and exits. Giving the location and the file name as per our desire too. When you do so, a code is generated on the screen. A new header file comes that is hash include alt.h. It is an alphanumeric LCD functions, we can also declare our global variables here. We will also include a function delay.h so that, we can use the delay in program. There are various functions such as colon, void LCD ready void, which simply means our LCD is ready to work. If we want the display, any character type of data, then, we will follow the following function. Void, LCD, write data, unsigned char data. Next, for the positioning of the data. That, which row, or column should it go which position, the data should occupy on LCD. Here we use the function. Void, LCD, go to XY then the X and Y position. Now, next for clearing the LCD the function is used. Void LCD clear. Next, for writing the string on LCD the puts function is used in such a way. Void LCD puts char char C. Here, in the while we start our code. First, use the function to clear the data from the LCD. And then, give the position to a data, by calling its function. Lastly, call a function to put a string in it. And then, give the delay in the function. After writing the code, click on the project at the taskbar, and build the hex file. Test this hex file on the simulation software. Thank you for watching this video. I hope learn and like it. Like, share and comment.